Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to save an entity using save method. In this lecture, we'll see how to update an existing entity using save method. Well, as I mentioned, we can use save method to perform two operations like save operation as well as update operations, right? So in case of save operation, save method internally uses entity manager provided persist method. And in case of update operation, save method internally uses merge method to merge the updated information all right so let's switch to the IntelliJ idea and let's see how to use save method to perform update operation i'm going to head over to the IntelliJ idea and go to the test class and we are going to simply write the JNA test case to execute the piece of code and here i'm going to use a test method something like update using save method all right and let's go ahead and let's annotate this method with add test annotation so that junit framework can recognize this method as a junit test case all right perfect now you can see in the database table we have already a product record right so let me show you so we have already a product record into the database table now we are going to update this product record okay so you can see product id is one right in order to update an existing entity into the database table we are going to perform different steps so first what we're going to do is we're going to find or retrieve retrieve an entity by id from the database and then what we'll do we'll update retrieved entity update the entity information and then finally we save the updated entity into the database table all right so in order to retrieve a entity from the you know database table first we need to have a id right and as we know that product has id one right so let's go and let's declare id here let's say long id equal to one so we are going to basically update a product with id1 and then we need to call find by id method to retrieve a record from the database so we're going to simply call here product repository and then we call find by id method and look at here find by id method basically takes id of type long and find by id method returns the optional of type product so go ahead and select this find by id method over here and just pass id as a method argument and then call get method to get a product object from the optional class now we got the product from the database table let's go and let's update the information of this product object so if you can go back to database here you can see product name is product one okay and product description is product one description so let's go and let's update these two fields so i'm going to say set product name something like updated product one okay and product dot set description let's say updated product one description something like that and now let's go ahead and let's save this updated product object into the database table so in order to do that let's call save method right so just call product repository and its method that is save method and just pass a product object to the save method well in this case save method will basically update the product information into the database table because product is the existing entity in the database table right and product has a primary key isn't it that's why save method internally call entity managers merge method to merge this updated information into the database table all right let's see how this works let's go and let's execute this JNA test case and let's see how hibernate will generate sql statement behind the scene well let's go and let's see the output of the JNA test case and you can see Hibernate has generated a lot of SQL statements and let's understand one by one. If you go back to our JNA test case, we have called find by ID method 
to retrieve a product from the database by using id right so hibernate basically created a select sql statement for find by id method behind the scene and if you look at the where clause here hibernate generated sql statement that is select sql statement it has a where clause with id okay and next in order to update the information hibernate trigger one more S select sql statement to retrieve you know product by id and then it will update the product information all right so look at here the update sql statement all right so as i mentioned earlier we can use save method to perform both save and update operations and in this case you can see hibernate behind the scene generated update SQL statement to update the product information into the database table. All right, so this is a very important. You should have to understand how to use save method to perform save and update operations. Right. So by looking into this SQL statement that Hibernate generated behind the scene, we can able to see that how save method works and how it uses Hibernate to save and update the information into the database table. All right. I hope we understood how to use save method to update an entity into the database table. Alright, I will see you in the next lecture.